Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we will be using our bottles and also our tea towel. And this is my favorite one. So I'm always using this one when I do exercises. So you're gonna fold it together and we're gonna take it down and place it on the ground. So we will be jumping over it. Now today is the same format, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, but we're doing two exercises twice through then three exercises twice through. So we're just splitting it up a little bit to get more out of the two and the three. So first one, you place your tea towel on the floor. You're gonna side jump over it, and then we're just gonna walk forwards into our plank, walk it back, jump it over again. And we keep on going like that for 40 seconds. Okay, shoulders, core, check, check, and we go. Jump it over, walk it into that plank, walk it back, Jump it over again. So we're just walking from that plank to a jump, to a plank on the other side. Now really watch, keep on going, but really watch because we're doing it fast now that when you come in, you're not starting to come in like that through your knees. We're still doing the same technique of bringing those heels down and voila, you're already into a squat. So now you can jump. If you're coming in like that, then you first have to set yourself up and then jump. Okay, shake those legs. Next one, just leave it there. We're taking the bottles and we're doing a squat where we're holding the bottles in a shoulder press. So this will show you how flexible or unflexible you are in your back. So hold them up, just bring them down, go with me, all the way back up. There we go, all the way back up. So if you feel you're coming too far forwards, just don't go as far down. So just have it there and bring it back there. So you're only going as deep as you can with good technique. So don't start coming down and being here or coming forwards. Then I would rather you just do it there. But if you can, go all the way down. Seven more seconds. So we're doing these as quick as we can. Weight into our heels. Ah, shake it. So now we're coming back into those walking planks. So we're just doing these two, one more time, and then we're moving on. Okay, so get ready again. So check everything, especially when you're walking back. So don't do it onto your knees and then come up. So there, quick into that squat. Walk it forward, back into that squat, jump it over. So when you're doing it right, you know you're doing it because you're already in that squat as soon as you're walking back. If you need to change your position to get into that squat, you're doing it wrong. And then we just need to adjust it. So then you need to slow it down and see where you're going wrong. All the way down, engage that core. Watch you're not coming here because you're having so much fun with this one. Keep that core in. Bring it back. Well done. Breathe. So this one should get you really out of breath because you're doing it as quick as you can and also really engaging all your muscles. And the next one is the same. So now it is, we're putting speed into it because we've gone over the technique so much. And I'm hoping some of it has gone in. So now we can start adding a bit of speed. There we go, all the way down. Now as you come to the bottom, especially when we're doing it that fast, it's very easy to come down and lose your knees. So you're bringing them in. So you need to keep that engagement in your hamstrings. So watch you're not going quick, quick and your legs are all over the place. You need to keep that bum going back and as soon as you start coming off, squeeze in those hamstrings. There we go. Bring those bottles down. Well done. So first two are done. Next three, we're gonna start exactly the same. T-toll in the middle. Instead of the walking plank, we're gonna be doing a burpee. So we're doing that side jump into a burpee. We go. 
Side jump into a burpee, just to that squat. We don't jump up, we just go back over. So we go there. So it's like we're doing a squat thrust into a squat and then there. So keep on jumping over, keep on getting that burpee in. So as soon as you land, your hands come down, the hands are not here, straight in between, there. Bring it back into the squat, I'm there, so I can jump it over again. There, into that squat again, jump it over, keep on going. Really drop it down, so you have to use that core to come back up. Breathe, so now you should be really out of breath. So take a second, just to get that heart rate down because we're gonna be bringing it back up. So now we're just doing a squat, no weights. We're just lifting one knee up, twisting over, dropping it down. Go with me. So into that squat, twist, drop, twist, drop, twist, drop. There we go, keep it going. There. So what we wanna do, keep it while you're listening to me, is that we're taking your heart rate up, Dropping it down, taking it up. Because that makes your body just work harder instead of having it at the same pace. Because the body gets used to it. So it starts using less energy. So we wanna go, we basically wanna trick it. Go like, hey, you thought it was here. So constantly has no clue what's happening and needs to use so much energy. There we go. Shake it. Last one that we're doing. We're coming down to a kneeling position. We're gonna be circling the weight, just take one. But while we're circling it, we're leaning back. So we're just doing circles, alternating, but lean it back. So stay here and keep on circling that weight. So what I want you to do as you lean back, is you're leaning back from here, and this is straight. So you're not going there, or take it here. So I'm literally thinking it's my quads that are keeping me at my core. And then we just keep on going. If it's really hurting, just come up for a second and then come back down. Check your shoulders as well, because this often happens. You start doing it like that, because your legs hurt. So keep those circles long, big. There we go. Well done, everybody. So we have just those three. One more time. Get that tea towel ready. So coming back into those burpees. There, I mean, who doesn't like a good burpee? Huh. Okay, into that squat. There we go. There, bring it down. There, bring it down. Just keep on going. If you're getting tired, just start counting. Just start thinking about something else because very often, it is mind over matter, but sometimes your mind is playing tricks on you. It wants you to stop. It wants you to get tired. It's going, you've done enough. So then you have to not listen to your mind and just go over the matter that you're doing. So I just go when I'm tired, engage that core, watch that back. One, take it back and really push it in. Two, so I block my mind. So I just keep on going and keep on going until it's time for a break. So all of a sudden it comes, breathe. So you can do much more than your mind says you can do because the mind lives in the past. Your mind is just used to what you used to be and just wants to keep you there. So you have to overwrite your mind. You have to be out of your mind, basically. So that's what we're doing today. Twist it. As you twist, really feel your obliques working. All the way, breathe out as you twist. In as you come down. There's two more exercises. So the same thing, just count. You've done so much. Do endless burpees. You don't do endless burpees and then give up on knee twists. No. So we're gonna keep on going. You just have seven more seconds and then one more exercise. Last one, well done. Shake it, we're coming down. Grab that bottle, just breathe it. Shoulders back, 
open up your chest. One more. And think of those circles that you want to alternate them here by your navel. So all the way here, all the way back down. Now get that core in, lean back, and we go. Keep it going. So it should really start to hurt your quads. It should start burning them and into your core. And especially before you lean back, and while you're leaning back, as soon as you let go of your core, you're gonna start loosening it and lose your position. So yes, the quads are holding it, but the core is holding the quads in place. So as soon as I let the core go, my legs go. So last few. Last one. Ah, well done everybody. Thank you so much for today, tomorrow.